Good morning everybody, it's Monday again. How are you? Um, it's getting on for eight o'clock. I can't start work at quarter past, so um, I just thought I'd check in and see how you are. Intermittent night sleep last night, wasn't feeling too well. And Jennifer was up chatting for a bit. <clears throat> eventually got to sleep it was lovely i like sleep so i always look tired in the morning and then i can see i look tired but everything's good i feel fine feel much better this morning just going to go and uh, set my computer up and start work um i've got another order to pack now so that's three in total going out uh, this week uh will be going out tomorrow um but yeah everything's fine just no Pootling on, getting on with life. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, really. See you after I finish my shift. So, finished work and we've come to the park because she's gone four o'clock and she's straight to the slide. She loves the slide. Where's she off to now? It's all right, don't worry. Go back on the slide again. Off she goes. Swings? Swing. She wants to swing. Straight to the swing second. It's quite nice today. It's not raining, so... Funny. She um, wanted to come off the swing to do something else, and then somebody else wanted it. She wanted to go back on it. She's so funny. They come off it, and now she's back in the swing. Oh, yeah, it's quite nice down here today. There's quite a few kids about, which is good, I suppose. At least they're all out getting some pressure. As you can see, that's the blade, if you can see that at the top. Sometimes it shows up, and sometimes it doesn't, depending on the angle I've got the camera. So if it is bothering you, let me know. Oh, so we had a nice time in the pub. It was lovely. In the pub, in the park, it was lovely. Jennifer had a good run around, went on the swings and the bouncy thing and jumped in a puddle. And then we went to the pub. <laughs> That's why I was thinking about the pub. Yeah, we popped across and, and had a quick one drink in the pub. Jennifer always wants to go in the pub because she likes to see what people are up to. She likes watching them. And then we came on my tea, really. I am going to do some filming uh, now. I've just had a nice shower, more nice and clean. Jennifer had a lovely bath and played with the bubbles and covered me and Paul with them, as she does. And uh, yeah, it's bedtime. Everybody's in bed. It's only like 20 past nine, so I'm going to do some filming. Although this did arrive today. This is the new Hannah Carlson book. Now, I think it's smaller than the older ones. It's definitely thinner. Let me just get one and I'll have a look. See, it's slightly... This is uh, Summer Nights, is it? Yeah, Summer Nights. So it's slightly shorter and slightly smaller that way across as well. And it's definitely thinner. Um, I think she's got a different publisher. Um, but I still like it. I think the pictures are gorgeous. I'm going to do a flip through of this on the channel tonight when I'm doing my filming. I oh, can't wait to get started on that. There's some really stunning pictures in there. I've had a very quick look. I've been working on my fantasy cats from Colour in Heaven. I don't know where he is. I've just... I don't know where he is. He's at the back somewhere. There he is. I've just got to put a bit of a blue bit. I've got some green at the bottom. I'll put a bit of blue background. And he's nearly finished. Um, so yeah, I'm currently working towards doing what we call... Uh, trying to finish up all the bleeding whips before it hits... The end of the month i got so many on a huge stack of books because i'm filming like three different versions of first impressions i'm doing castle arts i'm doing black widows and i'm doing the mache um brush pens as well i've got tons of books on the go as well as the whips i'd started because these are the books i wanted to color in anyway so I'm into um, not panicking. There's a good week to go. Um, in fact, there is a week to go. The 31st is a bank holiday as well, so it'll be off all day. So I've got a week to finish as many as I can, and then I'll film my um, wrap up on the first. Um, yeah, I'll probably because yeah, at the, the end of the month it tends to get a bit messy with the videos. So obviously on the Monday we have uh, the weekly vlog. Normally on a Tuesday. 
we would have the first impressions but I might have to move that to Thursday so I'll have to see how it goes because obviously on Tuesday we'll be putting up completed pages Wednesday it'll be haul although I might be able to put that up on Sunday actually because there'll be no post on Monday so if I don't get anything after Saturday if I don't get anything on Saturday then I can actually film it Saturday night and put it up Sunday I might do that then we'll have the weekly vlog and then on Tuesday we'll have complete pages yeah that sounds about right possibly maybe Wednesday for the complete pages actually because I might not fil film it to Tuesday it depends on how much is left and how close I am to finishing something and I'm rattling you don't need to hear me rattling um yeah so that's Monday done with tomorrow's Tuesday we're going to my mum and dad's after work tomorrow Wednesday she gets to go to nursery for a little bit um just for a settling in bit for an hour and a bit and yeah it's all good Although when we, like I said, when the Paul's new mattress, well, the new mattress came for the main bedroom. I'm in the spare room tonight because I'm filming. Um, and I don't want to disturb him if he's asleep. We managed to break our Wi-Fi booster, so we've ordered another one. So I can't watch any videos in the spare room when I'm colouring, so. But that's okay. We got a new one coming on Wednesday, which would be great. Uh, because I'll have my office up here once Jennifer goes back to, to nursery. I'll set up a small desk and... Uh, I'll be able to work up here and then that means Paul can have his meetings and it'll you know and I'll be it'll be quiet for me while I'm concentrating on taking calls that's it for tonight I'll see you tomorrow morning bye guys morning it's Tuesday I've just got up I've got a cup of tea let's wait for some toast and um it's horrendous outside it's absolutely hammering it down oh, excuse me literally just got out of bed um let's look at how long my boots are Oh, you can see the grey. It's only because I can't, I couldn't sit there for three hours with a mask on. So I might just get it cut. I, I might try it though. Uh, yeah, so it's Tuesday. It's absolutely hammering it down outside. It's a really horrible day. If we go down to Mum's later like we would normally, we'll be going down in the car. I still haven't heard about New Temple Dry. We did say about midweek, so that's tomorrow. Fingers crossed. If not, I'm going to have to do a load and take it down to mum's. Again. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to drink my tea and um, breakfast and I'll get ready to work. As you can tell, I've literally just got out of bed. I'll see you after work. Hopefully it might stop raining by then. Jennifer's sitting on her makeshift chair. We've finished working with Nana and Grandad's now. And she's got a little table and you're going to do some colouring, aren't you, Jen? <laughs> I want those coloured properly, right? Oh, 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 oh big teeth! Ow! Oh, 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 Jennifer's in bed, Paul's just getting ready, he'll be in in a minute. I'm probably, I might colour for a little bit. I've got to be honest, today's been really meh, that's why there hasn't been much going on, I haven't filmed much. I've just not been in the mood since I got up this morning, I don't know whether it's the weather or what, but i just been feeling really meh, I can't be bothered. I feel a bit down, fed up. Didn't want to work, didn't want to go to my mum's. Don't want to colour, don't want to do anything really. Um, obviously carry on for Jen. Hopefully I feel better tomorrow, and I'll see you then. It's Wednesday morning, and Jennifer got up early, and I'm feeling really, really rough today, so there'll probably be no vlogging today. I just feel really ill, um, so I'm not working. So this will probably be the only time you see me stay. She's got nurses this afternoon, so I'm gonna have to take her down, but um, hopefully she'll have a dose of it, and I can get some rest, but uh, probably not. So I'll see you tomorrow. I'm really not feeling right. Good morning, it's Thursday, as I said <coughs> yesterday, because I wasn't feeling very well, I wasn't going to be vlogging. I spent all morning in bed, and then took Jennifer to nursery for her settling in session. Came back home, picked her up, came back home, and then just chilled. Paul did a, did take her for a walk, um, while he took to the park yesterday afternoon. It's a good job, because it's horrible today. 
and um, I didn't eat very much of tea had a piece of toast, just did not feel like anything at all. But today I'm feeling a lot better, so apart from being a bit wheezy this morning, yeah, hopefully today everything will be fine. Um, plan on going to my mum's today because I've got my tumble dryer. I've got washing that needs drying because Jennifer's running out of pyjamas. And, you know, because she goes through clothes so quickly, she has to have clean pyjamas every night because she gets them filthy in the mornings when she gets up. And then she, obviously her normal clothes get filthy, so... Among other things. But everything's fine. Yeah, I feel I'm a bit tired, but I feel fine. I had a good night's sleep. It was nice. So now I've got a nice hot cup of tea and have some breakfast. Probably watch some YouTube and then uh, crack on with the day and get it over with. It's a bank holiday weekend this way. So yeah, we got Monday off. Yeah. Which is amazing. I love it. Anyway, that's that's it for now. I'll see you after I finish work. Ooh, I'm all out of focus. Yeah, Not one. working. I wonder if it's because I'm steamed up. Oh, that's a bit better. It's Thursday afternoon. Yay, I finished work. Even better. <laughs> Only one more day to go. <laughs> We're down at Mum and Dad's. It's absolutely yeah, hammering yeah. down. Look at that rain. If you can see it out there. Probably yeah. not. <laughs> Jennifer's yeah. wearing Grandad's gloves, aren't you? They're your gloves. They're Grandad's. Uh, they're, stuck, aren't they? they're mine. They're yours. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you want. You want more? <laughs> she thought it was funny we were doing it last night. She thought it was hysterical. <laughs> That's what we were. Hi everyone, it's Friday. Yeah, yesterday I forgot to finish off the vlog, and this morning I forgot to start the vlog. I think it's because of my camera was in my handbag, to be honest. Um, as you can see, I am at the shed. Can't see much, it's dark in there. I have an order to pull, and Paul will be going down the shop later to get some beers for tonight's 80s quiz. Um, so we'll drop them off and they'll go off then tomorrow morning, which is fine. So I've got three going out. So two of them already and I'm going to get the other one now. Then I've got to go to Nanny's and get my mum's to get the washing because I still haven't had my tumble dryer. Doesn't look like it's coming today. I did finish off a couple of colouring pictures. I certainly finished one off yesterday. Did some filming, which is great. And yeah, so I'm just going to crack on and get this done and then... Uh, get on with the, the day yeah I want to try and finish all my colouring pages for the month tomorrow which is Saturday not so I can just film the wrap up um, but so I can read for a bit I mean I'll probably I might film the wrap up if I finished everything but I, there's a couple of books I want to try and finish so and I got a new one coming soon so I'm just going to go in there and uh, pull this order it won't be long but I've now got this little bookcase in the bedroom as well as you see it's a bit too small for some of the books so I'm moving the books that aren't Hollywood related from that shelf um, and the Hollywood shelf here. Um, so it's going to be plays, theatre, music and that sort of stuff on this shelf as much as I can. The bigger books eventually will go on top of this one when I've got rid of some of these. <laughs> um, so once I've done this I'll then be organising all my Hollywood books onto this one uh, six foot bookcase and I can't wait so I might do some of that a bit later on. Um, I've got to go to my mum's now to pick up the washing because I still haven't got my tumble dryer. Your love, just can't shake your love. It is Friday night. I look a bit red actually. Just put Jennifer to bed. It's quiz night and tonight it is the, what's it called? big fat 80s quiz or something like that anyway so instead of doing our normal music quiz on a Friday we're doing an 80s quiz today we would be doing the general knowledge normally because tomorrow we're doing an indie quiz but we saw the 80s quiz and thought we're gonna have to do it so yay I just gotta log in to the um the app so I'll be back a bit later to let you know what's going on just can't shake your love we're logged into the app I have got some stronger dark fruit cider so why not one more second can and uh, it's Mark, our favourite host tonight. I'm going to say that. I'm going to put it on the record. Mark Norton from Speedy Trivia is our favourite host. We really like him. Stu's really good too. He'll be doing the 70s, 80s, 90s, noughties quiz, which he always does on a Friday, doesn't he? Yeah. And then the general knowledge quiz. 
is normally whoever gets to do it on a Saturday. But tomorrow we're not doing it. We're doing the indie music quiz. That'll be fun for Paul. <laughs> you like indie music, don't you, baby? Yeah. There's my Judy Garland poster over there. Like, ooh, can you see it? Movie in a costume exhibit. Wee! Take your love. So I'm gonna stop singing to Debbie Gibson now and uh, wait for the quiz to start. This is so much fun. I've really enjoyed this. We've just done the first ten questions. It's been all TV questions. I think I got did we get two wrong? Two wrong. Two wrong out of the ten. Um, and we're gonna have a look at the scores now. I'm having so much fun. I don't care. I'm just really enjoying it. We're in 14th place. The end of round one. I can live with that. It's actually part one round. Round one, part one. We've got part two next, which is 80s films so oh my god I am so loving this and around what which was films which is great I've seen every single one of them and we're now in 10th place yeah every single one of the films in the questions the only one we got wrong was one that I just could not remember and I, I'd seen the film uh, it was just one of the more unusual films that we use it's really chuffed so we've gone from 14th to 10th that never happens we usually go down we got music next, and then there is a round that's got some sports in it, which I'm not looking forward to because sports and me don't go together. It's going to be a little break now, so I'm going to get another can of uh, beer and uh, some munchies and do all the necessaries. I'll see you after part one of the two-part music round. Your life. It's a break. That wasn't such good. The music round. I love my 80s music, but we've gone down to 25. Because <laughs> um, the first one was just like listening to the intro or some of them, and it was starting the time as soon as the music started. So, of course, you got to the end before they'd even started singing. And I was like, when it got on to like name the artist, it was a bit easier. But anyway, break time, time for another beer. It's my last one. So, news was better than sport, sport was terrible. We didn't do it, we got a few though. And we're in 21st place. So we dropped from 10 to 21. <laughs> but we don't care. We're having a good time. We're having a few drinks. We might put some music on afterwards. You never know. We might do some singing ourselves. Um, right, I'm going to go to the bathroom because I'm necking these cans quicker than I can pull the ring pulls. See you in a bit. We're waiting for the scores. Best quiz ever. No. But I enjoyed it. Pulled in. No. Excuse me, Belgian. I've been and eating what's it? Steak. <laughs> Waiting uh, for so the schools. Paul didn't like it as much as I did, but I loved it. But we haven't won. But I thought that was just uh, brilliant. Teams in the uh, top three in a second. The team in third. You're going to turn a bronze colour on your device. He does waffle. So you will go bronze colour if you're in third. I'm going to turn that around. Boom. Uh, in second place, you're going to go silver colour. And our winner will go as the yellow and gold. Boom. 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 Team in the winning spot, you need to take a screenshot of your device and send it through to me because that will get you uh, your prize. Now make sure you send me your PayPal details as well. Boom. 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 I generally remember. It doesn't always happen. If I don't remember, I told you he waffled. I'm just never sure when I saw it now. Uh, right. Third place. <sighs> Gary Lineker's pants. Ooh. 663 points. There was a big scoring round in the last one, so that's why the scores are so high, but it was a brilliant points. quiz. And holding on. 684 Ooh. points. Good. Hallelujah. Good well done. Yeah. Well done. yeah. We came in 30th at the oh, end, well, no. but still we didn't come last, which is what we always say is the best part of it. So that's it, we're going to knock it off now and maybe listen to some music, I don't know what we're going to do, go to bed. I know I've got beer to finish, so I'll see you tomorrow. It's Saturday, it's bank holiday weekend, this means the weekend's going to be seeming like it's really long. See you later. Morning everybody, it is Saturday morning. I was going to go to Newport today and have a look around for stock, but I've got some and it's such a nice day and Jennifer wanted to come to the park, so we're just down in Risca Park and it's quite busy because it's such a beautiful day, it's really nice and warm and lovely compared to yesterday when it was hammering down. So we're, we're just going to sit in the park for a bit and let her play and then we'll push, kick the ball around, have some lunch and go home. 
and then uh, I've got to clean off the big table, dining table, so I can do my measuring on there. It needs a good tidy up because I work there during the week, and Jennifer brings over pieces of paper and books to scribble on, and it just gets piled up. So that's my job for this afternoon. I also want to sort out my huge collection of gel pens. I've got more of those arriving today, but they're glitter ones only. Because I find I don't use the other gels very much, so I'm going to try and use them. Here she is. Who's that? Who is that? It's you, isn't it? <laughs> uh oh. So we're just gonna see what she wants to do in the park. Here she goes. She's off again. <laughs> Still uncomfortable. She wants to go on the swing with somebody's on there. She has to wait it's until they finish. You've been on the since, swing. Since sitting on all the other things. Yeah. All the other bunches and bits and pieces. You like the park, don't you? It's a bit cold in the breeze, isn't it? Even though it's a lovely day. It's a bit chilly. I'm glad I put long sleeves on her. Where are you going, baby? You want to play hopscotch? No, but she's got long, I put long sleeves on her because I thought it might be a bit chilly. He's a good girl. Are you going for a slide? Oh, he's too keen, bless him. Good girl. That way. No. Okay. Wait. No. No. She has been up there once. She has done it before, but she's not very good at it. Here in the park, Paul's just gone to get us a drink, hasn't he? <clears throat> Watching her and the other kids run around. It reminds me of. Um, they said about how in the last year of her life Marilyn would go to a local park and watch the children playing, um, particularly the way it was phrased in the documentary Remember Marilyn, you know, she never had a child and wanted one desperately and how she would watch them playing and just sit there for hours, it just, it, it makes me think of that and it makes me feel quite sad. I'm so lucky to have Jennifer, I never thought I'd have a child, I never wanted one for years and then now I've got her I, I can't imagine anything worse than being without her. She's amazing and she's fun and she's full of life and it's a shame Marilyn never had a child. She would have been amazing and it, it may have saved her, it may not have, but uh, <laughs> Jennifer's actually interacting with some of the other children now which she never does which is good because she's always running away from them. But yeah just sort of remind me of how she used to, to sit in the park and watch the children play. Very nice. As you can see, there's an ice cream van behind me, so we just had an ice cream. Shared it with Jennifer, because she won't eat a whole one. So we had two double cones, and we've got drinks, and we're just having fun in the park, aren't we, baby? Oh. Park. Oh. Yeah, so it's nice. Just a lovely day. What do you want? Where do we want to go? Where are we going? A uh, what? You want to go to the pub? <laughs> You make us look so bad, you do. All you ever want to do is go to the pub. So now we're in the pub because Jennifer wanted to come. We did play with the ball for a little bit. Paul's blowing at a wasp because they seem to like him. And uh, we're in the pub, aren't we, Jen? You like the pub? Yes. You do, don't you? It's a highly alcoholic fruit drink there. Called Simple, Simply Fruit. It's like a fruit shoot. Strongbow dark fruits. And Newcastle Brown. Am I on camera? Yeah. Oh, Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Say hello, Jen. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh. Lovely girl. Right, it's Saturday night. Jennifer's in bed. She crashed out for the entire afternoon when we got back and after we had some lunch, she just passed out on pool. 
and she slept for a good while but she's up in bed at the moment we are about to do the big indie quiz which is more for paul than me because i haven't got a clue i'm just here to tap the buttons because i'm quicker than him <laughs> not much mind but got a beer got my coloring book coloring this and uh yeah i'll let you know how it goes through the school in so once we uh, start playing see you in a bit end of round one and out of the what was it 18 questions i actually knew two of them one was the lars there she goes and the other one was the magic pages design for life because he loved that song we're at 19 that's not bad top 20 we'll see how it goes in the next round i'm going to go because he's got music playing really loudly and i don't want to get a copyright strike end of the round waiting for the results of that round and we're at 14. We've gone up. This is definitely Paul's kind of quiz. I'm thinking this is a bank holiday Monday. There might be a general knowledge quiz tomorrow on Sunday night, so you might get an extra night of quiz in. <laughs> round three is over. That was so hard, that last round. I mean, I'm not big on them anyway. It's not for me. I got one in the, the round. <laughs> But he did say it would be getting harder. So they're just picking the songs to listen in the last break. And then, excuse me, he will tell us the score. So we were at the end of the first five questions, in which I actually got one right, at a good position. No, won't be nice. But we probably won't be there. Yeah, Here we got one or two. So we're going to take a short break. We've got seven minutes or so. Okay, that should be. Just waiting for him to put the score. It should take 15 minutes or so to do our final round. So. That's pretty good timing. Um, I'll leave you with some music. You go and get yourself a drink. I'll also pop the scores up on the Please screen. pop the scores up, please, yeah, Mark. My favourite host again tonight. And we have... It's, uh, it's open to 16. So that's not too bad. We haven't dropped as far as I thought we would. So that's pretty good. So I will come back at the end of this round and let you know where we finished overall in the Indie Quiz. I had a I can't say, cryptic um, final round where they gave you clues, like crossword clues, to name the band. It's quite hard. Some of them were good, though. Let's see how you did on that round. Yes. It was interesting. It was a good round. I enjoyed that. Uh, right. We can see down the side. So nobody got to the top. The, the best scores. Five he did a sort of ladder thing where you have to climb the ladder. And waiting for the scores. Of course, the one, two, and three come up first because oh, that's the way he does it. Now our and I'm going to look to see if there is a, a general knowledge quiz tomorrow and if there is we'll we'll do that and we, you can see us do that again because why not that's all we do all the weekend is quiz but it doesn't make the weekend seem longer it feels like it should be a Sunday today it's actually only Saturday night and of course we've got Monday off so it's like it's still the beginning of the weekend it could be Friday night it's because we're staying up later than we would normally if it, we weren't doing them so Right. Just waiting for the results. 19. We were 19 out of what? 39? That's not too bad. Top 20. Top 20. So that was fun. I'm going to call it a night now. I'm going to check out a quiz for tomorrow. See if there's one. Uh, a quiz one. Should be fun. Yeah. So, you know, we went last. Um, which is great. Yeah, courtesy is in around about an hour. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey everyone, it's Sunday afternoon, we're in the park again, yeah, afternoon, I haven't vlogged today, the reason being is, well, it's Sunday and it's boring stuff, so, shopping. Now when we got back, we um, watched the Sunday auction at Cardiff City Auctions online, which was really good, they made a lot of money today, it was some really high priced stuff. One was a load of vinyl records, we were looking at them because they looked, they were really good, so we knew they were going to go high and they went for £750, but I did buy two things, well, more than two things, it was two lots. One is a lot of, of um, seven inch vinyl records and the other one was a lot of vintage boxed Cindy accessory stuff. So that is obviously all to sell. So tomorrow we'll be going to pick it up. So your next week's vlog, you will see me do the uh, picking up. And if you're interested, let me know down below. I can do an auction haul. Somebody did ask for that. So um, I might do a, a haul. Well, say wanted a haul of stuff I bought to resell. So um, I can always haul that and let you know uh, what I got. I'm not going to tell you much I paid for it at all because it was, the same stuff was quite expensive, but I, it, it'll make its money back easy. It's really nice quality, good condition stuff. So I'm really looking forward to pick that up tomorrow. But we're in the park. As you can see. We've got another quiz tonight, which is general knowledge, so you'll be joining us for that. And next week they've got an 80s movie quiz, so I'm going to be doing that one as well, because that, that'll be fun. Anyway, I'll be back in a bit. You sort this out because I need somewhere to put this stingy stuff I bought. 
This here is a present for Jennifer for Christmas. We're already starting to get her stuff and storing it in the shed. It's only cheap stuff though. Um, so I need to tackle this bit. As you can tell, she's behind me. So, hello. Hi, you want to get that out of you? Come on then. Get your bike out. He's on the phone, you have to wait. Um, yeah, so I'm going to crack on. I'll see you in a minute. Sausage and chips, beans for Jen. I've had another sale, so that's four I've got to pack now. You right, Jenny? Good girl. So while I was packing orders, Paul took Jennifer on her push bike trikey thing. Down the lane. She's pedalling. Every now and again she does it. She's trying to get her to use the pedals. Just to keep her out of the way. The wolf all in there. Jen! Waffle in there? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> it's woofing at you. Yeah, I'm all done. I'm all, I've packed them all. Right, do you want to look after a minute? Yeah. It's only there, isn't it? Yeah. All right. All right. Come on. You're with mummy now. Daddy's going to get the bin. Sunday night. Jennifer's in bed. Um, we had some fun out in the garden for quite a while. Got her ready for bed, watched a bit of television, had a cuddle. She's up in bed now. We're waiting for the quiz to start. So it's general knowledge Sunday fun quiz. Um, so I don't know what this is going to be like. Never done it on a Sunday before. But we're all ready and we're just waiting for Curtis to give us the pin so we can get in. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Just played round one and two of this general knowledge fun quiz and it's not that fun. So round one was good. Uh, round two was not so good. Very, very confusing that one. Um, Never mind. Heart, Waiting for the score. It's not going to be good. We were like at 14th, weren't we? When we after the first round, we're in the top 20, anyway, but we won't be now. Are we? I'm going to have a mini game. Oh, okay. Mini game. Clog Van Tweedle 191, be a corner in second place, be on a bit of social distancing. It's not showing on ours. Super Manning's quiz on. <laughs> yeah, normally it shows up on your hands, but it's not. There we go. 37. We dropped from 14th to 37. That's how bad the second round was. Ab observation round. So I play this mini game now. So we did the countdown conundrum thing, which was the mini game where they gave you uh, nine letters, and the nine letters are O I L Y P A N T S. So can you tell me what that actually spells out? Let me know. We'll be back for the next part of the quiz in a minute. After the ladder round, we're on 43rd place. It's not going well. It wasn't easy. Some of those questions were really hard, weren't they? Weren't they? Some of the questions were really hard, weren't they? I got nothing to say on the matter. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you know what happens after the next round. We got up a bit, but not a huge amount. 30 something we were, weren't we? Yes. Some of that. Paul's just making. Anyway, I'll take that out as well. Paul's just making a cup of tea because I'm not feeling too well. I think I've drunk too much this weekend. I don't drink very much. So when I actually drink a lot over the back, I get ill. It just hurts. Anyway, one more round to go. Hang on. We are in 45th place. We went back down. I don't know how that happened. Oh, because we had a silly game in between. Never mind. End of the quiz. End of the weekly vlog. Not a brilliant quiz for us, but it was alright. It was fun. Um, there was a good question in there, which was in put in which order Dorothy meets these characters on when she arrives in Odds, and they had it in this order. So I meant like the Witch of the West, the Cowardly Lion, Glinda. Uh, the, the scarecrow and the tin man and you had to put them in order which and then there was a big argument well not a big argument little people dis disagreeing um who she met first being between glinda and the east we came 42nd overall in the end that's 76 that's not too bad we we're happy aren't we we had fun some of it was really hard and it's not like we're going to do a sunday quiz again are we because we don't do quizzes on a, a school night 
because it kills us it really kills us i hope you've enjoyed this rather bizarre weekly vlog i'll be doing another one tomorrow because obviously we've got to go to the auction house to pick up those items i mentioned earlier which would be fun i'm going to have a shower even though i'm not feeling 100 percent because i do need one i like to have one before i go to bed paul's rapidly left the room i don't know why probably use the bathroom before i hit there um i'll see you again in the next weekly vlog so i hope you've enjoyed this one and i'll see you soon bye guys